Okay, so where we're at right now is we're trying to uh, <clears throat> get these bumpers mounted up right here. Um, what came with the, the Gay Racing mounts was uh, plastic uh, tubes to replace, you know. So I'm replacing it with aluminum. I'm going to have to modify these quite a bit. I'm going to have to uh, sand these down uh, so they'll fit into this bumper all right and uh, the ones I bought a little too big so we're gonna try a little lathe work like you know redneck lathe work uh, see if we can get it to fit in the hole all right um, but first we're gonna have to cut these down uh, because they're gonna be too long um, we can go from there I figure about maybe quarter inch on each and we should be all right okay so that's what I'm gonna go do right now I'm gonna cut these down and uh, well we'll see where we're at okay so uh, ingredients for my redneck lathe is one of these and one of these all right um, if you don't have an air compressor you can suffice with another drill or cordless drill if you will um, what I did is I basically stuck this into the chuck spun it while I ran this and hopefully got uh, well about as round uh, equally round as I could possibly get right so um, with that we got our bumper post right here um, just they just you well know, this one's got a burr on it so but the other one slides right in right and to get rid of that burr let's just take a driver and see what we can do about that There we go. Alright, so the burr's gone. And now we can just stick this in like so. It's gonna be a little tough, but that's fine. I mean, we want it to be kind of tight. Um, the next thing we're gonna have to think about is when we go to put the pins in, um, or even these, uh, these set screws to hold it in, uh, do we want them, you know, straight up and down? or do we want them off to the side now I chose to be off to the side so when I cut the groove in this it's just like the on the old one right the old plastic one I'm gonna cut it the same so what we'll do now is take this piece and pull this pin out of there they don't need to be there right and we're going to find ourselves basically just above the first pin hole, right? Now the reason why I cut them off is because I wanted to pull that bumper up as close as possible and make it look as stock as possible, right? So <clears throat> for that, we're just going to um, use my Dremel light tool and we'll just lay it on its side here all the way off here put it off over here and turn it on Keep in mind that uh, this small piece of aluminum will get really hot really quick. Alright, so I'm going to let that cool. I cut a little bit of it right now, but I'm going to let it cool. And 
I'm going to go to the other one right here and do the same thing. Switch back to the other one. Then the other one. Actually, I'm going to go put some gloves on. This will take like forever. Put one glove on so I can hold it. Insulate the heat from uh, the friction of cutting this. It's still hot. All right. So I got that notch cut in there. Now, what I'll do is, uh, well, let's let it cool off for a minute. Alright, so cool off a little bit. I got my notches cut in here, as you can see. I compared it to one of the broken posts and looks to be pretty darn close. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down the side right here and. Uh, I know it's not going to be perfect, but you know it'll be better, better than it was. I. All right, so we want the holes off to the side. Oh my gosh, look at that! Just like a glove, right? Never underestimate redneck ingenuity. I'm telling you. All right, so here we are. Final result is uh, the bumpers are nice and sturdy. Um, I did have a bit of a rattle right here, but now it's good and solid. What I did was I took a shoe goo and I uh, put that in there, let it dry for about 24 hours, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's solid. Did the same thing with the back right here. I used the shoe goo there because I didn't like the um, the part where it was rattling. It didn't really seem right. But I believe that the way I have these mounted up completely flush, it's going to look pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and throw the body on. Alright, so we'll go ahead and throw the body on. Like so. Get these pins lined up. And deep in mind, I admit myself that I didn't get this perfectly straight, but um, you take a look at it and it looks like it actually belongs there. Alright, and then look at the space in between. I don't know if you can see that or not. I know my lighting in here is really crappy. Let me go ahead and turn this a bit. Alright, so the spacing in front, I mean, you know, I'm just getting into this, trying to dabble in the scale part of the RCs, and I think that looks really good. 
I'm going to the back, probably have to turn it again. Okay, so we're a little bit off back here, but I think it'll pass. Part of that is because I have the the holes up here are not perfectly centered. Um, I made that rookie mistake of uh, drilling the holes because I was going to do a magnetic mount after it was painted, so I couldn't. Hard to line it up that way. Anybody who's done this before already knows that. Okay, so so there it is. Bumpers are on. I think it's looking pretty darn good. So if you like what you saw today, uh, please subscribe. Give me a like click if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now.